I'll share with you the best trading strategy for trading oil and it's a strategy that no one thought about. Whenever you go to the gas station, if you notice that the gasoline is more expensive compared to the last time you were there, it's time to buy oil. Or maybe it is time for you to start saving money or drive less. The second strategy that came to my mind is to flip my iPhone and if it was facing upwards, it is time to buy oil. And the third strategy that many follows is to follow a 20 year old guru on Twitter, telling them they have 25 year experience trading stocks and Forex. Wait, they were born negative five? Just like oil went on negative in 2022. If you have a smarter idea about when it is a good time to buy oil, I'll be super happy to see it in the comments guys. But in today's video, I will share with you a real trading strategy for oil that I have back tested and traded live and demo for quite a long time before figuring out that this actually is a great trading strategy. You can use it on any trading platform. The only thing you need is to have candlesticks. And before I jump on my computer to show the strategy, I have to explain one very important thing about oil. When you find a broker that offers CFDs for oil, you have to keep in mind that some of those will be futures. So currently I'm recording this video at the end of August 2022, but we can trade the futures for the October 2022. However, if you want to trade with robots and backtest them, you better look for a broker that will offer spot trading. In other words, there will be no futures to change. And if you are actually trading futures, you have to keep in mind that you have to close your positions before the end of the future. Anyway, the broker will close that trade and they will not roll over automatically. So for robots trading, the best thing to do is to look for a broker that offers MetaTrader and have spot trading for oil. This is where you will be able to apply the best oil trading strategy that I will show you just in a second. Let's go for it. Hi, my name is Pat Alexander. Hope you're doing well. And in today's video, I will share with you how to trade oil on MetaTrader 4. If you are a complete beginner, I will share a strategy that you can apply on any other trading platform such as TradingView. You can trade it from the mobile as well, which is very common nowadays. And you will find the robot for MetaTrader attached down in the description. You will find the MetaTrader 4 and the MetaTrader 5 version. So no matter which platform you are using still, you will get the robot for that strategy, which is really, really simple. Now, before I show you the strategy, if you don't have any experience in algorithmic trading and MetaTrader, check out the complete guide down in the description, which is free as well. In there, I showed how to select a broker how to install the MetaTrader platform, how to place the robot on the chart and how to start testing it and as well how you can backtest it. Now, I personally use the EI Studio for backtesting purposes because it's way more visual. So here I have the strategy that I will explain right now. So what we have is we have a candle color or we need to see a bullish candle formed before we buy. And if I click on it, you will see that we need two consecutive candlesticks before we open a long trade and the minimum body height should be 34 pips. Right over here on my VPS, for example, the broker Forex Vox has three digits after the decimal comma. And if the broker has just two digits, like the one over here, I will just make it a little bit smaller. So that is the XM broker. You will see that they have just two digits after the decimal comma. Now what's the difference guys? The difference is that with this simple strategy, you need to look for a minimum body height of 34 pips. So first look at the number of digits you have after the decimal comma. And if I have to make it simpler, you need to look for the candlesticks that are at least 30 cents 
from the price of the oil. Now let me click on the indicator chart to make it easier for you guys. So right over here we have the latest entry for a long trade and it happened after two consecutive bullish candlesticks and you can see that before those we have a small candlestick that is not considered so we need to see two huge candlesticks and on the opening of the third one we take the long trade if i scroll earlier to see some more examples you will see that right over here we have another profitable long trade after two huge bullish candlesticks and those small ones were just ignored. Okay, the very opposite for the short trade, we need to see two huge or bigger than 34 pips candlesticks, bearish ones before we take the short trade. Of course, I can show you some examples of a losing trade. So here is another example of a profitable trade after these two bullish candlesticks. Right over here, we see these two negative candlesticks. We had a short trade, but you can see that this trade closed a little bit on a loss. And what is the exit condition for that strategy? If I go back to the editor, you will see that first of all, we have the reverse. So whenever we see the opposite signal, we have to reverse and that makes perfect sense for me as a trader because if you enter that one moment in a long position for example and you see the opposite signal you have to act you have to close the long trade and open the short trade because many traders fall in love with their position direction and even they see everything going against them they still believe it will go up because they have bought it right but the market doesn't care what you have done if you see the opposite you have to react and reverse the trade and i do keep that rule in most of my strategies so whenever there is an opposite signal we reverse now the marker is an exit condition where we have the marker is lower than the level line period 35 and level of 10 so let me explain that here is the D marker displayed below the chart point 10 is the level line so whenever it gets below point 10 we have to exit but as you can see this happens rarely most of the time you will have to reverse the position. What else we have? We have a stop loss of 700 pips and take profit of 970 pips. And to give you a more visual idea of how big that stop loss and take profit is, because I don't wanna go to pips and points again, I will go to the report and I will click on the journal and you will see that right over here we have the take profit hit. So we had a short trade at the price of $31.73. So that's back in 2020. This is since when I am backtesting this strategy. And you can see that here we had an opening price of $31.73 and $38 is our stop loss and take profit is $22.08 and the take profit was hit. So that was a profit of 9,526 if you are trading a complete lot. And stop loss of 700 pips in this case means $7 and take profit means $9.70 from the price, okay? To make it super simple, if you buy oil at $100, you have to put your stop loss at $93 and your take profit as $109.70. I guess I should have said it this way from the beginning. And very important is that this strategy applies on M15 chart. Now what I will do, I will export the strategy for MetaTrader 4 and for MetaTrader 5 and you will find these attached down in the description. You can backtest the strategies with your broker. Let me know how that works for you and I'll be super happy to know the performance of these robots with the different brokers down in the description. Alright guys, so this is the best trading strategy for oil that I have so far. I will keep searching and backtesting many more and if I have any better, obviously I'll be super happy to share them with you. And many people ask me, hey Petko, why you share it if it works? 
I have no idea how to answer. And I usually spend about five to 10 minutes just thinking why people ask that question. And one of the most logical answers that comes to my mind is that when I share my robots with you guys and with my students in the academy or on Udemy, I get a lot of feedback, suggestions on how to improve the strategies and what could be done to make each robot better. It's like I have a huge team of subscribers and students following my videos and with all of the ideas I get, I succeed to improve my strategies. So thank you guys for following me, for giving me all of the feedback. And if you have any questions, I'm always there to answer. Don't forget to grab some free crypto and stocks if you are in Europe from the description down below the video. And if you have enjoyed the information you got today, make sure you smash the like button. This will be super useful for the YouTube algorithm. Have a wonderful rest of your day.